Welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. You're Sambo and joining us as always is Definity, our level 24 dual pistol wielding sorcery based superhero. As we sit here under the Gotham City full moon, the gloomy skies actually, let's go up. Can we see all of our iconic landmarks all at once? Is it going to be one of those days? There it is, the Zeppelin sailing peacefully over the skies, beaming its spotlight down onto the Dendians below. Can we see a Gotham City bat signal? Oh, might be lucky. Doesn't look like one is out at the moment. And of course, it's not always out. Sometimes it has to appear on clouds. And of course, sometimes there may not be any crime going on, although that's very unlikely. Welcome to this episode. And of course, if you joined us in the last one, if we have a look at our journal, you'll know that we were trying on the old Mannheim quest once again. Bruno Mannheim, who's eluding us at this point finding it far too difficult to kill him so we're probably going to leave him alone even though he's actually only level 23 far too hard for us at the moment probably something we should do when we're grouped up with somebody so we'll move away from that and come back to it at another time we've got another couple of options though that we can look at now one is warehouse of the dead gather the gather the power from relics shipped from kandak and of course that's all to do with wonder woman and well it's to do with faust and then you've and the zombies of course and then we've got this one one fish two fish shatter the ancient magics the atlanteans are using to convert civilians into water breathers and you can see there we've got to destroy tide stones collect tide stone fragments and defeat atlantean slavers both of those unfortunately level 25 although we're getting very close to level 25 i don't know perhaps we should do I don't know which one do you think we've probably well we've done the Atlantean stuff recently so maybe what we'll try is warehouse of the dead let's track this and see what happens see where it is the magic and Faust barrier will let only his soulless through we must disguise you I will warn you it will not be pleasant the university warehouse is stocked with Kandaki relics that may help and there we go thank you very much Wonder Woman as you know, if you've watched some of the previous episodes, of course, we get turned into a zombie. Mind you, that's a bit of a spoiler. Whoops, sorry about that. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, but we do need things to do that. We need some regents. And so what she's saying is that the university warehouse is stocked up with relics, and they may help us with that goal. So here we are at the university warehouse. Oops, got a soulless black guard there. Let's just limber up, warm up by taking down this guy. Let's see what happens. Nice little juggling aloft shot there. Now, I know we haven't summoned our pet yet. We will once we get inside, though, I promise. All right, looks like we're nice and limbered up. Let's head on inside. Go to the university uh, warehouse mission. There we go. Destroy the soulless on the first floor. 40 of them. Can you believe that? That's um, quite a high number. Oh, and look at that. I've already wasted one of our potions <laughs> by hitting the wrong button. And, of course, look at that. We've only got one left on there. We ha also have to wait for that to cool down. And thank you very much, by the way, to one of our viewers who let me know that you can't actually swap out any of these consumables while they're still on cooldown. So we're going to have to wait 40 seconds for that. So let's hope that we don't need it straight away. And you know what? We probably will. <laughs> Could have... Hey, can you hear me? I'm yep. stuck up here. It's the zombie apocalypse down there. They've already taken out a couple of supers. No way I'm opening these doors until those things are gone. All right, well, we shall help you no problem. All right, let's lock on to some of these mobs now. We've got the skirmisher. Whoa, man, we're stunned already. Let's lock on to this Archmage because, of course, they're the deadly ones with their fire. Whoops, they're flamethrowers. It's never pretty being in front of one of those. And, of course, they can also stun us with them. So we get locked in front of them and then burnt to a crisp. Not much fun at all. And look at that. Six out of 40 already down. We're doing very well. Definitely took a big chunk out of our health. So we've got to be a little bit careful. But it was still manageable. All right, what's over here? Not sure what that was, whether that's part of a quest. It had a use item on. I don't know, maybe I was meant to use it instead. Who knows? Here we are in the university warehouse. We've got all sorts of things wandering around. And, of course, it seems like we weren't here but yesterday with that big guy over there, the big giant mummy. I do remember attacking him on Seraphis, our super villain. Gosh, time goes so fast, doesn't it? 
Loft shot there, good old Juggle. I'm calling that my Street Fighter 2 move. And of course, here's our John Woo move. Come on, do it. There it is. Oh, and she's st still stunned. Oh, gosh. All right, not sure how we killed him so fast. He just seemed to keel over and die, but hey, I'll take that in a pinch. No worries. Thank you very much. Dude, there are billions of those things down there. They ain't too much for you, are they? No, not too much for us so far. Although, I can't remember how bad this big mummy is. Got a funny feeling it's rough. Uh, we'll soon find out, because we're a bit under-leveled. We're halfway through level 24. These mobs are all level 25. We really should be level 25, of course. Just have to take our chances, see how we go. I think I want to clear these guys out first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I may have aggroed him. Did I? No, I didn't. Oh, but I got pulled towards one. Magent. Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. Stunned. Come on. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. Why won't it let me unstun? I was spamming the block then. Block and roll and nothing happened. Definitely something fishy going on there. There we go. All right, now before I pull this big guy, what I want to do, of course, is go into our inventory and make sure we got some sodas equipped. Now we need to be level 30 for those ones. They're pretty light. They're light as well. Oh gosh, all right, maybe we'll equip those ones there. Not as bad. All right, let's see what happens. Hello, mummy. Well, okay, he can run very fast for a mummy. Let's lock onto him and just lock tight, get right up front and not let him do anything special. We're just going to keep meleeing on him and see what happens. I think we're going to bring him down, no problems. And yeah, there you go. Easy peasy, thank you very much for that. Gave us a bunch of XP. Give ourselves a little top up heal. I'm so glad that we have a built in heal, by the way, one of our own abilities rather than just relying on the soda colas all the time. Nice little backup. And you can see we're up to 27 out of 40 for these soulless. So let's get right into it. Let's use our knockback. Oh, an Archmagent. We definitely want to lock onto you. Oops, stunned. Oh, no, there's two of them. Yikes. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, and we got dragged back. Let's just try and get back out. We're grounded. Can't fly. There we go. All right, we're definitely going to need a cola. There we go. <clears throat> and knockback is called for here, I think. Oh, and look at that. It was just too much for us. We probably had about eight or nine mobs on us. Health was low. There's probably not much we could do about that. They all seem to pull at the same time. So this time, let's see if we can take one from the side try to avoid pulling as many at once although you know what they all seem to be grouped and this is one thing I don't like about some of the mobs in DCUO is that you know you pull one and they all come it shouldn't really be like that I mean you know maybe groups of three or four every now and then but not all the time it's a bit silly I must say all right Archmagen you are gonna get some look at that see this is what I don't understand basically a one shot him yes it quit it uh, crit but how come before I was smacking him down and basically wasn't taking any damage at all? That's, you know what, I just don't understand. I understand how crits work, but surely it's not as ridiculous as that. It's like black and white sometimes, seriously. Anyway, enough complaining. 38 out of 40. We only need, well, I only need one more now. Doors open. Thanks there we go, all done. I think there's something oh you god, do let's me, get so out of here. Just going to try and get away. Right, let's see if any of them actually come to us. I'm going to throw this at one. <laughs> Alright, that basically one shot at that one. Gosh, there's so many of them. I mean, it's unreal, isn't it? Alright, let's just keep on this guy, see if we can stop him from using his flamethrower and stunning us. And we did! Went down with no problems whatsoever. 
And a nice move there. Styly move from Definity. Very nice. Loving the animations and combat, of course, always. Love the bow. Love the dual pistols. Oh, and we smashed our head on a pillar and it smashed into a thousand pieces. Right, well, that's what a superhero's head is good for, I guess. Right, now this is all opened up. We are, what do we have to do? Make our way upstairs, it says. That's what we're doing. That wasn't very pleasant. She's going to eat us. All right, fine. You can try, lady. Yeah, somehow I didn't think that would work out so well for you. There we go. Alright, and we've lost our fury. Let's pull him back. Definitely need that extra DPS. Oh, and another mummy. Whoopsie. Let's see if we can roll out of the way. That soulless victim is just not dying. Look at that. It just will not die. Okay, that's got to be a glitch, surely. Come on. That was ridiculous. Right, finally locking onto the mummy. And let's just use the same old strategy. Melee, melee, melee. Super cheap. And took him down. Cut through him like butter. No problems. Agent. Oh, and I didn't lock onto the right one. All right, now we have. Let's keep up in his face like always and gone down. I still think it's a bit of a worry that we can do that, to be honest. It's very cheap. And I totally locked onto the wrong one again, although handily got ourselves onto an Archmage again. Really want to take them down fast. And that's exactly what we did. Good stuff. All right, heal for us. Knock back. Once again, really trying to keep with the lock on, just so that we get these down, burn them down one by one. And there's certainly no shortage of mobs in here, is there folks? Look at this, we've got these pillars, which we can smash. I'm not sure why we're smashing these. Maybe the relics are in here, I don't know. I'm not sure, I don't think they are. And, okay, I'd like to say I take credit for locking onto that Archmage, but that was quite a fluke. Glad that we did, though. There we go, smashing him down before, well before he could throw that lump of stuff at us. And we're not having any difficulty pulling off the combos today either, so maybe the ping is good. I don't know. Ah, there we go. Always look behind things, just in case you see something that's hidden from view normally. Now, I think we need to end up upstairs there, but we're going to finish off downstairs first. Oh, and look at that. Our first sign of the Egyptian sort of theme there with the scarab. And we've cleared it out. That must have been hundreds of mobs all nicely cleared out. Well done, Divinity. Yeah, you can arg and grr all you like. But it don't scare us. Alright. Pretty sure from memory, because we weren't here that long ago on Seraphis, that the guard is around here somewhere. And there we go, all done. Oop, what's that? Oh, okay, I thought it was a loot crate for a second. Smashing the wood out of the way here so we can come in and see the guard. There he is, a security guard raise. Hello. Help me out. Joker's clowns held me up two weeks ago, and made me stash them with those crazy boxes of his. They're full of that gas stuff he makes. I'm afraid those zombies will set them off and gas the place. All right, so what do we have to do? Destroy the Joker's presence? 
Signs of the Joker everywhere, aren't there? Still haven't managed to find any of these relics. Yeah, once again, you talk the talk, but you can't walk the walk. Must say we're doing very well in here, considering that we're basically under level. Oh, and that looks like it could well be a relic. It is. All right, so we basically got to randomly break those, and the relics appear in some of them. Oh, there's another one. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh, what's going on there? <clears throat> and a couple of presents and a relic, maybe? Yes. All right, two out of five of the presents down. And just as well, these relics here respawn too, by the way, or rather the containers that they're held in. Hopefully the presents do as well. All right, so sometimes obviously they're a scarab and sometimes it's what we need. All right, so three out of five for both of them. Let's head out and see if we can find some more respawns. There's another one. And no, oh, oh, I thought that was going to be a present. It looked like it for a second there. It's a scarab. Still all good, XP and goods. Now I wonder how far back these things go. Let's have a look in this other room here. I don't think there was anything here. Pretty sure there's not. Nah, okay, so let's head back up. And fly into walls, of course, because, yay, that's what we do. Nothing in here. It would be like them to hide something in the actual room that we get the quest from. Oh, look at that. Lovely. All right, so one more to go. We need some more Joker presents, though. Hopefully they're on a fast respawn timer. Let's have a look in these little nooks and crannies, shall we? Oh! No, okay. That's somewhere different. Let's not go there just yet. The big red arrow painted on the floor. Ah, I can see a respawn somewhere around there. There we go. Faust's minions swarm inside. You must collect their ichor. Combined with the effects from those Kandaki artifacts, this should temporarily loosen your soul just long enough to do what must be done. Good stuff. We heard a uh, Batwoman. Got most of the regents now. And we got four out of five of the Joker's presents. Let's open up our journal here. Here we go, Warehouse of the Dead. Separating you from your soul is the only way to take out the deathless obelisks Faust is using to protect his portal. And hey, look on the bright side. If you don't have one, Faust can't steal it, right? Well, yeah, that's true. If we don't have our soul, then Faust can't steal it. Sounds you will a bit dodgy. Need to leave your soul with the demon Etrigan. He waits for you near Faust's deathless obelisks. He wants Faust to gain power no more than we do. A test with my lasso has proved he will keep your soul safe. Alright, so we've heard a Wonder Woman there. What do we have to do? We have to go to the Demon Etrigan. Of course, that's the demon at the Bandro Tunda. And there we go. There's the Joker's presence all done. Let's... Where are we? Let's finish that one off. Type. There we go. The, the gift that keeps on. Great stuff. So here we go. You'll need to leave your soul with the Demon Etrigan. He waits for you near Faust's Deathless Obelisks. He wants Faust to gain power no more than we do. And a test with her lasso has shown that it's going to be safe. All right, that's good. Now, look, we've got this little sort of secret nook and cranny over here. Let's pop over here and just see what's in here. Oh, look, we've got ourselves a collectible in here. I mean, the objective now is actually to leave the warehouse. But, hey, I'm not going to leave if we've got this little secret area. I wonder what's in here. Oh, uh, that's what's in there. A loot crate. Good stuff. And who's this? Poker Face. We have ourselves probably some kind of rare spawn, I think. I'm not sure. Perhaps you guys in the comments can let me know how on earth this guy got to be here. I don't remember seeing him in past episodes. You on this hand, chump. I fall. 
Either way, we took him down. A little bit of a bonus there. Jolly good. Oh, look at that creepy face. And a collectible. Just as well we came in here. The God of the Sky, Horus, has the authority to return a soul from beyond death. Okay, I think we have to make our way right back out to the beginning. I don't think there's a portal. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like there is a portal at the end, perhaps. Where is that? It's over here somewhere. Oh, okay. Right. It's up near the guard. That's why we couldn't see it before. Excellent stuff. One death. That's not too bad for us. Find the demon Etrigan. Off we go. Atomic batteries to power and turbines to speed. This looks like the university. Looks like it's going to be quite close. Let's have a look on the map. Yeah, just over here. Here's the Band Rotunda, the familiar Band Rotunda, of course, with Blaze Purple and Seraphis both. Getting to turn ourselves into a zombie. Let's have a talk with this guy here. I don't want to eat people. How about hot dogs? I'd get them myself. But every time I try, some jerk tells me to kill, maim, and destroy. So uncool, man. All right, that's the most ridiculous voiceover I think I've heard yet. He's hungry, but he doesn't want to eat people. He wants to eat hot dogs. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Bit of an in-joke there, I think, perhaps. All right, hello, Etrigan. Hail, mortal born of man. I am the demon Etrigan. You must destroy those cursed towers with your mighty undead powers. Now give me your soul to keep safe. It will return when Faust's laid waste. All right, there we go. We've heard him. Etrigan, who doesn't like Faust as much as we don't like him. He is a demon, and he's stolen our soul now. So as you can see, we've turned into a soulless, well, a soulless country schoolgirl zombie of sorts. What do we have to do? We have to do the hot dog stands, and we have to disenchant and destroy obelisks. So this is actually quite fun. Of course, we've got these powers. We've got a knockback on one. We've got a bit of a blast on two we've got a fisty punch on three we've got a heal on four a heal on five and a return to form on six so let's see what happens now one thing we don't have is anything to scoot us there quickly unfortunately i don't think and i'm so used to being able to plunge in All right, let's see if we can find these hot dog stands. Looks like there's one over there. I do remember what the obelisks look like. Can't see any just now. All right, that's right. I remember that. Our punch basically sends mobs clear flying across the entire zone almost. It's quite funny. Oh, it won't let me do it. All right, let's lock on to this guy. Get rid of him. There we are. Made short, sharp work of him. And there we go. One hot dog we have. <laughs> oh, I just think that's hilarious. It punches him so far. Oh, my Lord. And that AoE is super effective as well, isn't it? It's absolutely amazing. Oh, it's interesting. The AoE actually stuns them as well. Fantastic. And look at the amount that that one heals, will you? That's... That's more than my normal heal. That healed me for like 690 health. Can you believe it? Alright, let's steal these hot dogs because they're super important. We got 2 out of 10. Three out of ten? Didn't honestly think we'd get that one off but we did uh oh this could be bad we've got lots of mobs and we got vista playing silly buggers as well uh oh yep all right didn't get my heal off fast enough combined with lag of course so much can happen in between the frames that we're missing because of stupid vista that 
it's inevitable that we'll die. Such a shame, isn't it? Oh gosh, it's so annoying. You can't even control your character when this happens. I'd say we're going to have to do the usual and pause the video. No, no, let's decide to come back. All right, Vista, you suck big time, basically. Oh, and it's on and it's off and it's, it can't make up its blimmin' mind. Oh, now we're back to one frame per second and now we're not. And there's the bat signal. All right, now, look... See what's happening on the minimap there. I can't actually see where my quest is. That is the most annoying thing ever. And it's right above us. So it's not until we actually bring up the main map that it updates the minimap. That is a bug that you've got to fix. Come on, Sony. It's been like that for absolutely ages. Sort it out. Not happy. Anyway. Speaking of sorting things out, looks like Vista's decided to stop throwing a tanty. I just... Really, what? I'd love to go to somewhere like Microsoft, sit down with them and go, what... What is your, what was your reasoning for doing, look at that, what was your reasoning for, you know, being able to turn off processes and then having them come on all by themselves, I mean, seriously, I just, I can't see the logic in that, it is ridiculous. And there it goes again, come on, all we want to do is get back to Etrigan and sort out our disguise, look at it, it's frozen almost, oh, ridiculous. All right, here we go. Thank you, Etrigan. We are now a zombie again. Oh, look at this. We've got friends. But at least the frame rate's sorted itself out. We'll deal with that later. It is difficult not having the abilities that allow us to close our range really fast, I must admit. And these have quite long cooldowns as well. Something else I forgot from the last time we were here. Alright, let's see if we can find some more of these hot dog stands. Looks like there's one up the top there. Now, what were we up to? About two or three? Can't remember. Now, I'm pretty sure we had to get something out of the dumpsters as well last time. Maybe that's like the second part of the quest or something. Here we are, four out of ten. Oh, we can roll! Even as a zombie, we can roll, baby, roll. Alright, that's okay. Let's go up there to the respawn hot dog stand. And there's the ludicrous punch as I will deem it. Most ridiculous punch I've ever seen in a game. Seriously, sends them halfway across the screen. Unbelievable. Now, don't you smash up my hot dog stand because we need that for our quest, of course. And there we go, 5 out of 10. I see we're running out of time for the episode. Perhaps this is a good place to leave it. We'll see if we can sneak one more before we log off. And we did! We managed to without actually aggroing anything. Oh, but look, there's another one up there. And there's another one. Maybe we should actually finish this off. Hang on, we're going to get interrupted here, aren't we? Yeah. Saw that one coming. Use our heal here. Our uber huge heal, by the way. Now, will we get interrupted? And no, we managed to do it, no problems. We're up to 7 out of 10, only 3 more to go. Let's carry on, seeing as we're so close. Oh my lord, that is going to be bad. Let's use our, another, our other heal, our 5 ability. And let's just get out of here. Oh my lord, how many of them did we aggro and how was that possible? I mean, come on. Half of them are resetting, the other half are stunned. Yeah, we'll take that, no problem. And send, 
Send them flying. Oh, it's hilarious. Alright, can we get to these hot dog stands to finish off our episode? What do we got here? One solar skirmisher. There we go, radio. There's a stand. Let's see if we can jump up here and grab it. Ah, wouldn't you know it? And there it is, the beautiful, epic Gotham City music, my favourite in the background. Always good to hear that. Alright, hot dog stand, you are mine. That's right. Right, 8 out of 10, we just need two more. Come on, we're so close. Well, wow, these guys have such a huge aggro radius, don't they? Unbelievable. You just need to be within breathing distance of them, and they come out. Hello, Crunk Coco. Got a player there. All right, one more of the hot dog stands. Then I promise, folk, it's time for us to wrap up the episode. As Vista struggles again. No, no, it's changed its mind. Come on, get up close. Honestly, really do miss those closed range abilities that we have. Not being able to get up close and personal on them really quickly is very annoying. All right, let's head back to the relative safety of the Demon Etrigan before we check our journal and check out for the episode. Here we go. Press J to access your journal. We will do just that. And sorting it by type. Hot dog, zombie, there we go. Get ourselves a pair of stylish nightwear shades. And oh, look at that. It's a thing that we haven't collected and much better stats than we already have. And look at that, folks. We have leveled up to level 25. Congratulations, Definity. Well done. And it's completely messed up our hotbar there. You can see because we leveled, it's gone and had a bit of a spaz. Yeah, I'm not sure how you get out of that. We dinged when we were a zombie, and we've lost all our zombie skills, so I don't actually have a skill to turn us back to Divinity, and we have no skills as a Divinity. So hopefully a logout will fix that. There you go, SOE. That is absolutely a bug. Let's have a look quickly at our skill point. What have we got? Uh, weapons or flight? Oh, have we got any dual pistol innates? I don't think we have. Oh, yes, we have. Permanently increased statistics, boost vitalization. Or we can boost critical attack damage. You know what we're going to go for. It is the critical attack damage, absolutely. And I think we can get another one of those, can we? Yep, three out of three. Well done, us. So it's by 4% per point. So we've got a lot more crit on us now. Anyway, let's hope that by the time we log back in, in the next episode, we're back to Definity. Or we're back to a zombie with skills. Otherwise, we're a bit stuck in here. Certainly hope you enjoyed this zombie-filled soulless episode. Certainly hope you'll join us in the next one. Of course, I hope you're having a great day wherever you may be. On behalf of myself, Asambo, and Definity, it's us saying take care. We'll see you later, and bye-bye.